Hello there guys, it's Stephen and Phil here, back with another Bundesliga kit review for the 2019-20 season. Yesterday or the day before, whenever I decided to edit that video, we did Bayern Munich's away kit, which we gave 69, I think. So, yeah. so we thought, you know what, we haven't done Dortmund yet, so we're going to do Dortmund's. We gave uh, Dortmund's home kit an, like an 80 right at the start of this series, and um, that was when we were all excited by kits and all that <laughs> kind of stuff. Uh, so today we're finally getting around to do the away kit, but don't forget if you are a fan of kit culture, football show reviews and all that kind of stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button because there's nowhere else on YouTube that does all this kind of stuff regularly. Right, Phil, after that spiel, uh, it's uh, Puma's uh, Brussie Dortmund 2019-20 mm. kit. What did you make of this? this Interesting. Is a, yeah, this is a show which I think um, I want to like a bit more than I do. Yeah, I feel um, exactly the same. Look at it and go like, it, 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 something yeah. doesn't, this bit of it doesn't seem to work for me. With this yeah, thing. no, I think, I think in terms of like, well, we'll get into what, what I don't like about the shirt. Um, it's not so much, I think it's, it's more just sort of the, the, the full package or the continuity of things like the way the pattern uh, matches with the shoulders. And I think probably at this stage of the season as well, where we've obviously seen a lot of kits, yeah. um, it's not doing enough to separate from the crowd of, of Puma kits. So, is there some kind of template thing going on here somewhere? Like, I mean, obviously, yeah. you know, the shoulder thing. Yeah, so the shoulder thing. Puma things. Indeed, Puma, yeah. Sorry, Puma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, you like that. And that's probably one thing to comment on, actually, is that... Uh, kind of sleeve or shoulder detail and it's something which most Puma kits have this year not every kit but most of them have um, you know kits like City's yeah. home kit and others and I think that's probably one thing holding holding the kit back unfortunately some templates or, or kind of base designs um, just start to get a, a bit old a bit quicker this is one of them because I think especially when you've got quite an interesting pattern I quite like the well, pattern but apparently it's um, basically uh, Dortmund yep. uh, have always been known. what's that Men of Steel slogan apparently the city <laughs> yeah. has been characterised by steel for uh, since the mid 19th century so it's, it's a steel kind of pattern allegedly yeah. you know and I think, rusty steel yeah and I, I, on some shots I think it looks good but I also think probably because we've seen that that shoulder detail on quite a few um, and it's it, the shoulder know, detail that ruins it all for me I reckon yeah and it, it's obviously just a simple block of colour you know it's not it's kind of it's not offensively yeah. bad in terms of colour but I think because you've got a bit more of an abstract yeah that uh, would be nice pattern, though, wouldn't it like, when yeah well it. I was just thinking yeah. just a pattern in, in there uh, having said that, I will say actually looking again on the kit, it does look nice having the silver sponsor and Puma logo, so that is quite nice. And actually, I yeah, guess I you can see why they've done it. Um, I think going on to the pattern as well, it's interesting to have almost like kind of hoops, you know, the the, the bands of that pattern. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not. That's, I'm not, that's quite. Cool. I don't mind that at all. Really. Yeah, it's a bit different. The, um, the, actually, the, the BVB, the crest does look a bit out of place because it's just. Sure. The colour's so strong, it jumps out a little bit. I think not necessarily in a good way. I would like to see some kind of monochrome version of that. would have been pretty cool. Yeah, it's um, interesting that, because I think I often... Yeah, we often talk about monochrome crests and all kind of one colour uh, aspects of a kit. I'm hearing disagreement in your voice. Uh, well, I was just thinking, for this one, I don't... I, usually, I would be all over that. I don't dislike it as much, but I do see what you're saying. I think yeah. It'd be nice to see it. I think that's the thing with a lot of these a lot of these designs we often talk about. And then you see it. And then you see it, and some, it sometimes like... it's better, sometimes it isn't. But no, I, I agree. It'd be nice to see that. Um, oh, imagine, though. Imagine, like, if it was yep. like, uh, more iridescent, like, they'd made it got a monochrome, and you'd be yeah. glowing the dark. Now, I see that. Now we're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah see, that's that. definitely better. That definitely has a five points to it. Yeah, and I think that's the thing for this one. Obviously, the home kit was. The football shiny sticker. Yeah, like, it would be nice to have a bit of bit of vibrancy to it because I think the home kit was nice it kind of it hinted at a kind of yeah a flair with the shoulder but it was relatively I like the home kit I, mean, yep. like, um, I can't remember I need to see it again but I remember thinking like we actually yep. you know what? it's actually a, it's pretty cool it's not like amazing but I think just I think they got the texture quite nice on the shoulders no I think it was um, I think it is good it's a decent kit it was a solid kit like it wasn't amazing but uh, no yeah. I like, I like uh, having seen now all these kind of t attempts what they've done the shoulders and, and with the Puma yep. little kind of template I still think that's one of my f uh, favourite like Agreed. incarnations of that Agreed. there we go see it best day. I'll put it on screen you're now probably well. right actually that's one of the most interesting ones yeah year. because it's just I don't know I, I just like the pattern it looks considered yep. whereas most of them are just a block of colour or well, cities have got that obviously that um, passy end of thing going on yes um, yep. Yeah, but in general, anyway, we're going to give it a score. So we gave the home kit, as we're saying then, uh, 80, many yeah. moons ago. Uh, what, what are you giving this one then? Yeah, this one I think isn't far off the home kit. I think there's still, um, given the, the colour, which is quite nice. It's very mid-70s, uh, isn't it? But it is about mid-70s, yeah. yeah. I, I was probably going to give it a 76 or 7. Um, I'll give it a 76. I think it's definitely, yeah, I think it's um, you know, it's definitely kind of a, a decent kit. And obviously the home kit is, is nice, so it's not a bad... Combination. Is that a fair kit out as well yet? Or? 
Uh, I've seen their, their cup kit, which is obviously a bit of a talking point. They have a, a kit every year for cup competition, so that's wow. come out. Is that um, is that the one the same or is that a fourth kit then? What is it? Uh, it as far as I know, they'll still have a third kit, and I can't think if it's come out. I think it possibly has, but we'll have to, we'll, we'll come back. We'll double check anyway, guys. Yeah. Uh, let us know if you agree with that score in the comments. Let us know what you would have done to improve the show, all that kind of stuff. Go and check out uh, the Bayern Munich away kit review from all uh, well, the previous video yesterday, the day before, and also check out the Bayern, uh, sorry, the Dortmund home. Um, review they'll be on screen immediately after we finish talking for now though make sure you subscribe comment all that kind of stuff my name is Stephen this is Phil we'll see you very soon